Hi, my beautiful loves, and welcome to Arcana Priestess. This is going to be your July tarot reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right, you guys, so if you are interested in a personal reading, feel free to purchase one in the description box below. All readings for this entire month are going to be 10 to $20 off. I had the sale going just until the end of this month. I did extend it for another month just because I know people are just getting back into work. So I want um, to you know, lower my prices until people are a little bit more stable, a little bit more caught up. Those of you guys who are unable to afford a reading, definitely follow me on Instagram or subscribe here because I do giveaways on Instagram every week for free readings, free questions, free extendeds. And then on here, I do a giveaway every single month for a free 15 minute tarot reading. If you guys are interested in um, more content as well, then definitely check out my Instagram. I do have daily tarot readings that I do there. They're just, um, it depends. Like it'll be one minute some days, some days it'll be five minutes. It really depends on what I feel called to do. And then we also have um, other giveaways that we do over there and other content that we do uh, depending on what I feel called to do. Again, I always go based off my intuition. All right, you guys. So with that being said, uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. That is always greatly appreciated. And what else did I have to say for you guys for this month? So there is a tarot reader that I am in love with. I just think she is so sweet and she's just so genuine. And I just feel like she deserves a lot more attention. So I definitely want to share her channel with you guys. So her name is Hannah. I'm going to leave her um, channel in the description box below. So definitely go and check her out. Give her some love, some support. I definitely feel like some of you guys uh, will resonate with her readings because I definitely know that I personally like to, I don't like to watch a lot of readings because like, first of all, I don't have the time, but I watched one of her, I came across one of her readings once and it was amazing. And I just loved her vibe. I'm a very, like, I, I'm, a, I'm an intuitive, you know, I'm a reader. So I like, I vibe by um, other people's vibes. So I just really enjoy her vibe. So I really just felt called to, you know, share her with you guys and just have you guys go over there and show her the same love that you would for me. So yeah, that is all that I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and uh, I love you guys. Well, so let's get in. <laughs> Hi, my beautiful Libra, and welcome to Arcana Priestess. All right, guys, so I am switching up the channel a little, a little bit. Your guys' uh, readings are going to be on Friday from now on. So every Friday, you guys have your reading. So this is going to be a little bit different. We're going to do your past, present, and future with you and your person. Um, for some of you, this is going to be related to the past life with your person. Others of you, this is just the past, and I have found it to resonate for some people with past relationship, current relationship, and future relationship, regardless of if the person in the future is new from the past or from the present. So take it how it resonates. So let's see the energy between Libra and their person from, from the past. Energy between Libra and the person, their love interest, the past energies. All right. So we have the Eight of Fire and the world. So there was a runner and a chaser in the past life here. Some of you, this could have just been uh, real, like, your actual past where somebody was you know a lot more interested somebody felt like they were chasing uh and somebody was always withdrawn present energy between libra and their person please four of earth whoa and the ace of water all right and then the future energy between libra and their love interest please Five of Earth and release. Uh, what I'm hearing is a song from Eminem. I don't remember what song it is, but it's you want them when they don't want you soon as they do feelings change. Which song is that one? I don't remember, um, but that's exactly the song that I'm getting from this. Um, because it's like somebody was chasing in the past life or somebody was chasing in the past. Now whoever wasn't chasing wants to offer their love because they feel possessive because this person decided to move on. And then in the future, you're both going to be left out in the cold and realizing that you need to release this because it's going to be a never ending cycle. That is, for some of you, possibly what this whole reading is going to be in like two seconds. 
but who knows we'll see what we get obviously there's going to be a lot more information that comes in but we have the seven of fire as the main energy so defend your beliefs and decisions stand your ground choose your your battles wisely so the overall energy is about you really standing up for yourself wanting to stand up for yourself and stick up for yourself regardless of how much you love somebody right it's that energy of loving the ones that love you over the ones that you love because sometimes we love somebody and we love them so much that we assume that they love us the same way that they are loving us and we don't realize because we're so blindsided that you know we're actually the ones that are giving so much we're actually the ones that are putting in so much effort and the person that we're dealing with you know is barely putting in any of the effort so for some of you it's really about you know speaking your truth really standing up for yourself also being a little bit guarded right being guarded and um allowing like realizing that trust has to be earned you can't just trust somebody with your heart you can't just you know once people show you a certain amount about themselves you show them you know you match what they show you but don't just give everything and expect somebody to match because ultimately that person will all like will ultimately end up taking advantage of that is kind of the message that i'm getting for you guys for this overall energy so we are going to go through the past present future i'm going to pull um some oracles cards we're going to do the love angels the uh, lovers oracle sorry the romance angels and we're going to do unspoken messages for each of these i'm going to spend most of the energy in the present moment but we will take a, a little look into the past and a little look into the future so for the past we have the eight of fire here so lots of incoming communication somebody was really trying to get things started really trying to get things moving here there's a lot of passion um, between you and this individual so it has events moving at a fast pace delays are over um many things happening at once but right after that, we have the world, a job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. So pretty much what I'm seeing is you had somebody come into your life in the past life to really show you some lessons. They really taught you some things when it came to your spirituality, when it came to your self-worth. And, you know, it's almost like I'm almost getting for some of you, this is a twin flame that we're talking about here, because it's kind of like this person came in and helped you to rise up in many, many ways. But at the end of the day, you weren't able to be with this person, hence the world. Ooh, sorry at the end of the day you weren't able to be with this person hence the world you had to there had to be some sort of ending you know between you and this individual it's almost that sense where things move so fast that you just kind of give it your all and then you kind of realize like a lot of people don't understand why they're having complications in the beginning of their relationship but i always see i always see that if you have complications in the beginning it smoothens out as you go and I always find that to be a lot better than having everything be a perfect honeymoon energy and then all of a sudden it's like you're left in the cold you know what I mean and that's kind of what I sense here somebody like things were moving way too quickly and then somebody just kind of like took back their energy which caused an ending here but it definitely looks like if this is somebody like the main message for you guys actually is if there's somebody coming back from your past or if you want to come back with somebody from your past that energy is over you guys will have emotion or you guys will have intimacy um like physical intimacy that will still be amazing but regardless of that anything else anything emotional anything mental you know all of that energy when it comes to true love even you know that's kind of over with this individual from your past so it's like everything you need everything you want is going to be ahead of you it's not going to be behind you and i think that is the main message for you guys to take away from this past energy with this world energy it's all it's showing me that there is somebody 100 percent going to come back from your past um or there's a past life individual that you already had a relationship with and it's kind of like if you notice that you're meeting somebody that you've never met before but they have very similar qualities or they're reminding you of your ex it's somebody you've had in the past life you've already accomplished and learned and grow grown as much as you possibly can from that person and the universe is kind of like testing you to see like are you ready to have more or are you going to accept this um because it's something that you want not what you truly realize you deserve all right okay so we have give thanks for the blessings of love seem to come your way know that you deserve to be and to have all that your heart truly desires so yeah, everything that you want is ahead of you. It's all coming towards you. But for some of you, you have to really believe that this is something that you are worthy of having for you to really be able to manifest it. When we have criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. So, you know, if there's, uh, it's pretty much saying that like judging, there's some things that need to be let go of. Like there's some things that you're still holding on to in some way. 
Hmm. Cool. Sorry, guys. I literally just woke up, so I don't know where this energy is coming from. But I think it's this eight of this eight of fire energy that I started to feel, because that was it was a lot. It was intense when I pulled this card. But um, yeah, with this energy, it's just like you guys some of you what I'm getting is you may still be talking badly about an ex that you're dealing with and it's kind of like showing you like it's not worth it like giving this person your energy in any way shape or form it's just not worth it so you know move forward and just kind of like forget it all right so let's just get one unspoken message from this person jeez I'm not ready. Yeah, so in the past, this person wasn't ready. I think things started moving really quickly because physically, things were amazing. Um, whew, wow. But when it came to emotion, I definitely feel like, you know, this person wasn't ready. This person wasn't ready for you and trust issues. So trust issues could have been a major thing within this relationship. Somebody hadn't gotten over their trust issues and, you know, they met somebody that they were really interested or you met somebody that you were really interested. And even though you wanted it to move forward, your trust issues got the best of you. All right. So in the present energy, okay, just give me half a second. So for your present energy, we have the four of earth with the ace of water. So four of earth. Um, and the Ace of Water, so it looks like, you know, in this energy, there's somebody that's really wanting to hold on to you. Um, for some of you, this is a connection that you're currently dealing with that you are trying to make very stable. You may be deciding to move in with somebody here. Others of you, you're recently dating somebody. It could be a water or earth sign, but it definitely looks like this person is falling in love with you here. Uh, this is a relationship that is going to really enhance your spiritual growth. You and this individual together are really going to grow. You're going to really take things to the next level. Some of you guys, you may be moving in with this individual. This is about, you know, purchasing something very large with somebody and really sharing your finances. So this could be that next step that you've been wanting if you have been wanting to move in with your person. Some of you, you have somebody that is actually capable of purchasing a home for the two of you. And this is what this person is thinking about doing right now here. But it looks like, you know, those of you that are in a relationship, relationship you either have somebody coming back from the past that wants to possess you because they're realizing that they're in love with you because of the fact that you're either moving on or you're not in their life anymore or the person that you're in a relationship with if it's a very healthy relationship it looks like you, you and this person are wanting to make things a little bit more stable a little bit more solid i'm getting something about how you might have been staying at this person's house a lot during quarantine and ever since then this person really started to picture a future with you it's almost like they can't really like they didn't want you to leave once it was over so they're really thinking about the future they're really thinking about long term with you but yeah there's somebody that's falling in love so if you're not if you've already fallen in love with your person then it looks like they're finally starting to fall in love with you here um some of you this is falling in love all over again with the person that you're dealing with here but there's somebody that just really wants to hold on to you very tightly um they adore you new beginning yeah so for some of you this is a a new beginning within a relationship that already exists so new beginning a new adventure awaits embrace it and live your dreams passionately some of you this is saying that you know you're holding yourself back with this four of earth and ace of water you're holding yourself back from a new look because you're still uh, caught up in the past and in order for you to experience this love in the present moment you have to move forward and then we have embrace so through each other you find the missing pieces and close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joy you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstance you currently find yourself in so with this four of pentacles some of you guys may even be struggling a little bit when it comes to finances and you're so focused on finances that you have put love on the back burner what i am seeing is that if you are single this is a really good time for you to put yourself out there so for those of you guys that are single it's kind of just like you can balance out your work life and your love life you don't have to you know choose one over the other i feel like there's this energy where once you learn balance you actually end up getting a lot more out of life than you would have ever thought you were able to all right so let's get a couple unspoken messages from the person that is on your mind currently this person that is currently in your life so one step at a time this is somebody that wants to do things the right way like this person wants to you know take you out on dates and then they want to ask you to be you know official with them or have you ask them to be official and then after that they want to you know take the next step and move in with one another or get engaged to one another and then the next step would be to you know get married have children but this person wants they have a certain way that they see their life 
and it looks like your um, perspective of how you see your future is actually very aligned with this individual's too. And then we have, I'm sorry. So if this person had done something in the past, they want to let you know that they're sorry. They want to let you know that this person is in love with you. They want to take one step at a time. They, they will take the necessary steps that you provide them to, you know, um, get back in your good graces. Whatever it is that you want them to do, this person is willing to do that. It's something that I am seeing as well. we have i can hear your thoughts telepathically and i'm lacking faith so this person can hear your thoughts this person you know you are really linked up with this person this is somebody from the past here um if this is someone in the present moment i feel like financially they're lacking faith you could be having a relationship that is a little bit strained right now there's a lot of stress and anxiety within your connection due to the fact that one or both of you is struggling financially um possibly you know just one of you struggling financially could affect the two of you right especially if your finances are linked with this individual but it looks like somebody's lacking faith and i feel like it has a lot to do with um their finances or somebody that wants to express their feelings towards you is lacking faith because you're they feel like you're not really showing them much interest they feel like you treat them the same way you treat everybody else so they can't really tell like if you're making a move towards them or not or if you're just kind of being nice But yeah, this person can absolutely hear your thought. They're very, your thoughts are very like tapped into you. They're tapped into everything that um, you're dealing with. And I'm seeing this in a weird way. So it says in a karmic situation. So this person could be in a karmic situation and they're saying that they're sorry because maybe they got into a connection. Maybe you got into a connection with somebody or you started talking to somebody and they ended up withdrawing or ghosting you. If that's the case, it's because they're actually still karmically connected to their ex and they're wanting to say that they're sorry for... Um, they're sorry for, you know, leaving you out in the cold to go back to a karmic situation, to go back to a situation that, you know, is no longer serving them, but they're lacking faith within themselves because they're not able to move forward and they have to take it one step at a time. But it's really, really hard for them because they want to be with you, but they're stuck with this person from the past. And I do not see that as an excuse in any way. Like whenever I hear that, I literally roll my eyes and I'm like, well, then be stuck. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's just not for me. That's just not my thing but um that's what i'm hearing so i'm gonna say it and you know for some of you like it's gonna resonate and for others of you it's not but that's just kind of like what i heard so let's get some other energies for you guys for the present moment between you and your person all right well that's way too much let me just i'm gonna take the first one i guess and then i'll do this again did I already pull? I already did. Oh, well, something's allowing me to do more then. Uh, you know, I saw the card that said I need you sexually. It was the next one. Yeah, sexually need you. And then we have sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. So this person is craving you. The person that you're dealing with, it looks like you right now, you have a very amazing intimate connection with this person. That could be one of the things that keeps you and this person bound if you're not um, like actually committed or if there are problems that you're currently working through. Um, some of you, this is like a person that you're actually not even with, like a person that you had left or had left you, but you guys keep coming back to be intimate with one another because you haven't been able to find anybody to be able to please you in the way that this individual has pleased you. Uh, and it's like, you know, it could have been something that started off very casual. It was supposed to be casual, but you ended up developing feelings for one another. And then all of a sudden you find out that this person has a karmic situation that they're not able to, you know, give you more than what they're currently giving you, or it could be vice versa. So that's just a message that I'm getting really quickly. And then we have look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So yeah, this person, yeah, secret admirer, someone has deeper feelings for you than they let on. The person you're dealing with has such strong feelings for you, but they're not able to let you know because either they're still dealing with a karmic situation or they haven't healed from a karmic situation. And that, not that they want to be with that person, but that person, the things that had happened between them and that person made this person almost not believe in love again so it's going to take a lot of healing for this person to be able to give their heart and accept the love that you're trying to give them because it's not just that they can't give you the love that they want it's also that it's hard for them to accept the love that you're trying to give them all right let's get some romance angels for this energies okay some love messages oh for libra and their person so it looks like very soon so clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now and then we have deception so deception is someone is wearing a false mask um 
a false self mask in this relationship and it's in reverse so what i'm getting by it being in reverse is this could be you for some of you guys but what i'm pretty much seeing is like this person is just pretending as if they're not interested when they truly are we have retreat it's time to dis disconnect from the world it may be that you know when you disconnect from the world uh with this individual or when you guys are just alone with nothing no other influences um surrounding you that this person can be honest and open and tell you the truth here but what i am seeing is like somebody is just not able to tell you how the only way you probably know for some of you the only way you know how this person feels is by the way that they are intimately with you you know that it's more than that but otherwise they block it out and some of you this person could even limit the intimacy to make sure that you know you don't get to their heart like somebody is very very guarded here and clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now so for some of you this is a warning for you or a cross watcher about deciding what you want and actually going for it regardless of your fear or not because you know somebody is only going to wait around for so long so if this is you being scared you're going to have to open up to this person and either let them know what's going on or let them know that you want them otherwise you know somebody else is going to come in and swoop this individual and for others of you this is the cross watcher energy saying that you need to step up and tell libra how you feel tell libra that you want them don't make them second guess themselves because if you do that, then they're, you know, that's putting a blockage within the connection that you have with them. All right. So that is what I have for that energy. So let's take a look at your future energy. So for the future energy, we have five of earth, fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others and uncertainty, self-employment, uncertain self-employment. And then we have release the end of a phase of a situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. So for some of you, in the future here it looks like there's there's this energy that right now you really have to change your mindset i'm really strongly getting that you have to change your mindset related to money whether it's money related to you and your person or just your own financial abundance you have to change your mindset otherwise you are not your finances in the future are not going to be looking so good there's some things that you need to release about the way that you think about money about the way that you feel about money about the way that you make your money but when it comes to the love relationship in the future, it looks like with the five of earth and release, it looks like there are still some things that you need to work on within the future before you can get the love that you truly desire. With this five of earth, it looks like there is this energy where you have to release some things to be able to be complete um, in your love life. Let's get some unspoken messages so we can get more information. Some of you, um, this, is, this is saying that if you feel like if you're really holding on because you think somebody's going to change in the future you're going to realize that you ended up wasting your time because they're not going to change if you take somebody from the past they're not going to change and in the future it's not it's going to be to the point where you know you're going to really see the truth and you're really going to have to let go of someone all right so messages between libra and their person for the future please i love your scent so I think some of you are going to realize that this person wasn't interested in investing. Um, for somebody from your past, you're going to realize that this person wasn't interested in investing with you. They were just interested in, you know, physical, your physical appearance. They were interested in intimacy with you. But when it came to investing in something long term, they weren't really there for it. Yeah, look at this, F buddy. Some of you are going to see the truth. Your your rose colored colored glasses are going to become coming off um, in the future with you and this person. And yeah, look at this, sexually need you again. In a dark place, you're realizing that somebody, like, kind of uses you when they're in a dark place. And maybe you're in a dark place, so you accept that. But in the future, you're going to realize what it is for what it is because you're going to be releasing this to move forward because you're going to realize that this person just takes your energy. You're going to realize that you don't feel as abundant when this person is around you. There's so many realizations. There's so many awakenings that are going to happen between you and somebody that you're dealing with in the future. And I really think it's going to align you with who you're actually meant to be with. So let's see the future energy for Libra and their love interest. So deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. So some of you, it's like since day one, you've already known that this person wasn't for you, but you wanted it so bad that you kept pushing and you're finally going to listen to your intuition. Um, and it's going to help you to trust your intuition because this is something your intuition told you from right off the bat. And some of you, it took years for you to actually start listening to it, for you to awaken to it. So you have playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. So not to take things too seriously. And when you realize this, you know, you don't have to take it out on the person that you're dealing with. Just kind of laugh it off and just move forward because 
you know, what can you do? Yeah, twin flames, your passion ignites. Some of you, this is absolutely a twin flame. This is a twin flame that you thought was the person that you were supposed to marry. And in the future, you're going to kind of realize all the things that you weren't able to see. But it's ultimately for your best because the moment you realize that, the moment new love comes in and beautiful, beautiful new love that is going to make you feel so happy. And it's going, like, also just releasing this person is going to just change your vibration in so many ways that you're going to be like, why the heck did I even have this person in my life? You're going to be like, there's no way that all of this, what, like, for some of you, you have fine, if you are struggling financially, it's actually not your energy. You're actually supposed to manifest a lot of things, but it's the person that you're with that is holding you down, that is bringing your energy to the, to a point where you, it's that quote, you will only be as successful as the ones you hang out with the most. So if you're hanging out with somebody that is in a really dark place, you're developing their, um, the luck that they have is a luck that is, you're going to bring to yourself. So some of you, once you release this person in the future, you're going to realize that you get everything that you've ever wanted suddenly. And it has nothing to do with luck. It has everything to do with you aligning yourself with where you're truly meant to be and releasing what doesn't serve you so that you can get what is for your highest good. And that's what that was 444 four, four when I said highest good. So that is what I have for you guys. I hope you guys have the strength and the courage to release what doesn't serve you. And I wish you guys the ultimate best in your future. For those of you that would like to purchase a personal reading to get more information related to you and your individual or the person that you're interested in or just you on your own, then the information is in the description box below. The readings are on sale to the end of July. I hope you have a great, um, I hope you have a great rest of this month. And if you like this reading, please leave me a comment or like the video so I know because of this entire month I'm going to be doing um, I think I have four or five different spreads that I'm going to try. So the ones that you guys like, definitely like it. Definitely comment so that I know. Because if you don't like the video, I'm obviously not going to continue doing it for your sign. So let me know. And uh, that way I know what you guys want. Because this is, you know, this is for you. So I love you guys so much. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care.